Here you go, Jeremy. <laughs> Folks, welcome to that fish we catch today. We're just doubling up out here. Yeah. You got a little mine. Mine ate the hook, I'm gonna end up cutting that one off. Alright folks, two exotics, South Florida's exotics right here. This is Jeremy Sokovich. Is that right? Sokovich, right? Sokovich. <laughs> Damn, I can't do I screwed that up. <laughs> and Jeremy's a friend of mine, I've known him for 15 years. But anyway, keep watching guys. We're live baiting out here for uh, peacocks and we're gonna catch some nice fish. Hopefully we get a clown fish. Stay tuned. Outside of the mouth, too. He's not even in the mouth, Jeremy. <laughs> Look on the outside of the mouth. There you go. That's a good fish, Jeremy. Good one, brother. That's a good one. Well, that tore it, hooked tore his mouth up, didn't it? I ain't a man. Folks, I'm going to give you a tip when you're peacock fishing, live bait fishing, things to look for. If you see one of these illegal PVC pipes coming out of somebody's yard where they're stealing water from the county, throw on it. PVC, uh, peacock. For some reason or another, they love laying up next to that PVC, and that's what Jeremy just did. Good job, brother. Let me get a photo. There you go, Jeremy. There you go. That's the way it should be. The client should be catching all the fish anyway. While the guy's breaking his stuff off. That's a good one right there. Pretty, man. Pretty. In Louisiana, it's not pretty. It's pretty. That's a pretty one. Nice job, brother. Fish on. I thought I was hung up because he didn't really hit it. Didn't really hit it. Probably got gut, No, he did. Oh, yeah. 31. That joker did not even hit that thing. I just I lifted my rod tip up and it didn't even move.
There you go, Jeremy. That's what I'm talking about. You got some size. It feels like it. Oh, taking drag, baby. This one has cycles. You sure? I believe you. Let's pick up. That's the biggest one we've had today so far. So far. Shit, look at this. Again, that was so subtle, Jeremy. Let me get my eye on Oh, man. So subtle, I didn't even feel it. Get it off, Del. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one. Double for our trouble, folks, right there. Dude. Oh. No, I don't know. You know, sometimes when you get hung up in the wood. Oh, there's a fish. Man, Jeremy, that is awesome, dude. Oh, that's a good one, Jeremy. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll get the net, brother. I'll get the net. Just a little bit, Jeremy. Just a little bit on the net. Just a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. Not too much. There you go. Just a little Not too much. A click or two. Nice man. Nice. <laughs> That's a damn good one there. That is a good one. Here, let me go ahead and pop that hook out. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Alright, you get the fires. That's what we come for, man. Oh yeah. Right there, buddy. What? Awesome fish, Jeremy. Awesome fish. Another thing when you're setting the hook with live bait, there's no reason to go back with that big old heavy hook, fit. especially you know the ones I do in the other videos where you're trying to slam them. You know, these live baits, these live bait hooks, these little open hooks, you just lift your rod tip. And you got them. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Good two more. That's a good one. Oh, goodness. I do it every time, baby. I don't even grab that line like that, man. Don't. Just want to boat flip him up on the deck, man. That line will cut you every time, man. You got me, man. Got you good. Lesson learned, folks. Be careful grabbing that line. <laughs> that braid will go to the bone, baby. <laughs> Here we go. That's a good one. That's a real good one. They're just not slamming it though, Jeremy. No, I mean, not. this is like a subtle, subtle bite. Tighten up a little bit so I can get him around that. I don't want to get him down in, the, in that thing there. That's what I don't want to get him in right there. Come on, good cross, good cross, good. Here we go. Watch your bait, Jeremy. Sorry, dude. Well, I 
Absolutely pretty. They got the knock show on his head and everything. Yeah. All right. You hear me? Me. Hey man, I don't know. I don't know the details. I think I think the outfitter is solely to blame. I mean, it'd be like me. That'd be like some guys. I mean, some clients coming with me, me taking them out to Loxahatchee, and us getting busted out there. The customer don't know. You know what I'm saying? That it's a federal preserve or federal uh, off limits. Of course, he may very well have known where he was at, too. Oh, there you go, Jeremy. Smack That him. one was a weight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Flip him on up here, Jeremy. Get him on up here. Man, that's a nice one, Jeremy. He's pretty nice. Right. Pretty good bite today, folks. Pretty good bite. Let's get a photo of that thing. Jeremy, you ain't let me bait up. Oh, that's a big one, Jeremy. Folks, we got a trophy on. Got a trophy this time. Go ahead and get him under there so I can get a hold of him. Get it. There you go. 
Man, that is awesome, dude. That's, oh, man. That's awesome right there. Folks, said it a couple times on other videos. I ain't trying to sell trips. I stay completely booked out. But if you want some peacocks, come on down here South Florida. Give me a call well in advance. That's awesome, dude. Right there, man. Man. Photo time. Let's wait. We will. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, Jeremy. Oh, that's a good one. Look how pretty he is. All right, folks, I appreciate you guys watching that episode. That was a lot of fun with a good friend of mine. He's a client, but all my client, all my clients become friends after a while. I've had Jeremy probably four or five times now. But let me go over what we were using right quick. I was using a 7.3 medium heavy uh, Fitzgerald rod with a Shimano 2500 sustain, 15 pound Power, power Pro, a 20 pound, a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, a little split shot and a loop, a loop knot on like a, this, this, basically one of the smaller hooks that you can find, live bait hooks. And um, I tell you, it was just, it was awesome. That one peacock that Jeremy caught was one of the biggest we've had on the boat in the last few months. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me. Thank you for your subscription. Share the video if you don't mind. Leave a comment. I appreciate it. Captain Shane out.